B before we start this video, a large thank you to Angelos, Prod, HLJ, Enolado, Goat, Zero Man, Martin, L, Douglas, Allen, Jonathan, Bill, Matesus, and Thankron for their support on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And a special thank you to Chen Yiman for their immense support to the channel this month on Patreon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, man. Thank you very much. Your support is greatly appreciated. And thank you to the commenter who gave me the proper pronunciation of this name. Hello, everybody. And now if we start the game, you're going to notice that, and you probably noticed this for a while, if we attack, at least in my game here, uh, no stamina is drained on the attack. And you'll see here, uh, I'm getting an error, and that's because I'm using an animation event that doesn't exist because this animation is taken from uh, the Nephilim project. But we're going to expand upon our attack types today, and we're going to make one function that will handle draining all forms of stamina from a heavy attack, a light attack, a running attack. So it'll basically be a smart uh, function that will handle draining stamina types of uh, all attack types. So we're going to start by making a public virtual void called drain stamina based on attack, and this can go in the character combat manager. Uh, you can put the actual code in the character combat manager if you want this to drain stamina for AI as well. I'll make a note here because you can uh, basically put a enemy combat manager on your AI and then they will use this animation event during the animations. If you only want this to work for your player, then we're going to go ahead and put it on the player combat manager. Uh, and I believe in Souls, the enemy doesn't actually have stamina, at least not the regular enemies. I can't speak for the, uh, the NPC phantoms. So... Over here, we're going to just say override, drain stamina based on attack. And now we have to check for two things here. One, we have to check for the item we're using. So we can do that either by checking which item we are using right now, or we can check uh, by seeing which hand we're using. So I'm just going to stick to the uh, the common theme here of checking which hand we're using. So let's make two if statements. If the player dot is using right hand, and else if player dot is using left hand. So within these two statements, then, we have to check um, something again, which is the attack type. So right now there's only two attack types. I'm going to say if current attack type equals light, or else if current attack type equals heavy. And then you copy and paste this for the left hand, and then we can actually apply some code. So basically right now uh, we're tracking every attack type that we're doing, um, and we can actually call upon the player stats manager to deduct stamina. And I actually don't think the function is appropriately named, and I don't think it exists in the base class. So let's go change that. So we're just going to update the function that drains stamina, and we're going to put it on the base class, on the character stats manager. And then we're going to make an addition on the player stats manager that makes it do the same thing, but also updates the stamina bar because our AI don't have uh, stamina bars. So right here, yeah, this is called drain stamina based on attack type. Um, and I'm just going to rename that to drain stamina. Actually, you know what, we can rename that to deduct stamina. That sounds better. It's multi purpose then can be used if we're being attacked or if we're just taking some stamina off an attack or a roll, etc, etc. And let's pass a float for the stamina to deduct. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, just straight away apply some logic here. So we want to say that our current stamina is equal to our current stamina minus the stamina to deduct. And that's that's it for the base class version. And on the player, we want to do the same thing, but we also want to update our stamina bar on our UI so we can tell that something has changed. So let's go to the, oh, we have an error here. What is this? I think that's just our player combat manager actually we're missing yeah okay so we don't have the code finished written out there and this one is the same thing so let's go to our player stats manager now and we're actually going to um, override that base class function but we're going to use the base class function at the same time and we're going to do that by just saying uh, base dot deduct stamina i'll just show you how real quick so let's go over oh we have take stamina damage too so we're actually just going to get rid of that uh, entirely. We want to just have one on the base class that we can use across everything. Um, so right here, we're just going to basically make this a virtual void, because I forgot to do that. And then we're going to delete take stamina damage. We don't need that anymore. And we're probably gonna need a couple errors, but that's okay. We'll replace that. And then we're going to say override deduct stamina. And we're going to say base dot deduct stamina. So it calls the function on the base class, but we're also going to add in um, our stamina bar to update. And I don't know, that's actually probably on my other project that's on the UI manager, but I think on this project, it's probably, let's just check this. Yes, okay, so it's just right here. We store that right here. Getting my projects mixed up. So that's all well and good, and that will work now as intended. 
Um, then we can say player dot player stats manager dot deduct stamina. Now we need to know how much to deduct. So on our weapons before we had a light attack and a heavy attack uh, stamina amount to drain, but instead we can actually change those to modifiers or multipliers rather. Um, we have our base stamina. And then we have our light attack multiplier. Oh, we already had it done. And our heavy attack multiplier. So we just never implemented this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply say player dot player inventory manager dot right weapon uh, dot base stamina times. And since this is the light attack, we're going to multiply it by player dot player inventory manager dot right weapon uh, dot light attack multiplier. And we're going to rename that so it's, um, I guess, more obvious. Because light attack multiplier could mean damage, it could mean anything really. So um, we'll do that momentarily. So let's go back here now and where is the stamina cost? I'm going to rename base stamina to base stamina cost. And then I'm going to rename light attack multiplier to light attack stamina multiplier. And then likewise, I will rename heavy attack multiplier to heavy attack stamina multiplier. And what we're going to do to decide how much stamina we're going to drain is we're going to multiply one of these multipliers times the base stamina cost. So if you have a base stamina cost of 25 and uh, a stamina light attack stamina multiplier of one, then to do a light attack, it will cost you 25 stamina. Likewise, if your base stamina is 25 and your heavy attack multiplier is two, it will cost you 50 stamina. So I'm gonna paste this here and replace light with heavy because this is under the attack type heavy. And remember, you can add your own attack types. You can add running attacks, jumping attacks, whatever you want. I have a bunch in Nephilim. And again, I'm gonna paste this down here and I'm going to change right weapon uh, to left because this is under the left hand variant. So there we go. That's all well and good. And now we have a smart way to drain our stamina. So we're not uh, quite done yet. Um, let's just minimize this here now and save. And now you're going to see we've got a couple of errors. And this is what I was talking about before. So this is under the player locomotion manager. This is because this is trying to use a deleted function. Just replace take stamina damage with deduct stamina. And you're probably going to get a couple more of these errors. Let's do it again. Yeah, we have two more. Uh, take stamina damage. Let's replace this with deduct stamina. And right now, take stamina damage with deduct stamina. All right, and let's save that. And I think that is good. Yes, okay, no more errors. So let's go to the uh, player now. Let's go to the animation and make sure you drop your animation event where you want the stamina to drain on the attack like before. But now we just use one animation event instead of having one for every attack type. So this is way better, way easier. So right here, I have it placed here, drain stamina based on attack. So right when I'm basically swinging and the weapon becomes active. Uh, so after you've done that, make sure you find your weapon item. I'm just gonna go to the sword. And then you want to actually punch in your modifiers. You might want to initialize them at one so it's never zero. So right now mine are at zero and zero. I'm gonna change the light attack to one, heavy attack to two, base to 25. Now when I swing the sword, I'm gonna start the game. It should take away a chunk. When I do a light attack, maybe about a quarter. Yes, okay, now a heavy attack should take away almost half. Yes, okay, so that is working as intended. There you go. So you can actually add a bunch of attacks to this and you can just really get really creative running attacks, jumping attacks, all that good stuff. Now, there's also a bug I wanna fix. You can see here if I press the jump, it's just gonna continuously jump. And uh, that's not supposed to happen. I, I guess I haven't jumped in a long time this project because it must've been there for quite some time. If we go to the input handler, we can actually right click the jump input and see that it never is turned to false after it's turned to true and this is why. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to uh, just set the jump input to false. Now, don't put it in here because this would still work. So I'll, I'll just show you momentarily as to why. If you say player input handler jump input equals false in here, it's only going to change the false if your uh, stamina amount is above zero. So if you actually press the jump button when you're out of stamina, you won't jump. And then when your stamina goes back up, you will jump. And that makes a little like this. That's very awkward. So. Uh, what you want to do is actually put it outside of the brackets, outside of the checks. So no matter what, even if we don't have stamina, we should still be resetting it. So if the player input handler jump input is true, uh, right when we come in this function, set it to false and then save it and then you are good to go. All right, guys. So in the next video, you might seen you might have seen I dropped a, uh, a straw poll in the Discord. Now I want to actually talk about that for a second. Um, in the next video, I wanted to cover guard breaking in this video as well, and uh, stamina deduction and stamina modifiers when you're guarding against attacks. Because as you know, in Dark Souls, when you block an attack, you lose some stamina, and if you get to zero stamina, um, your guard is broken. So we're going to cover that in the next video. 
Um, but also, some of you have been messaging, messaging me about my blocking system in Nephilim. Um, in Nephilim, I don't use a collider. There's no collider necessary. I calculate if you're within the blocking angle by using a dot. So if that's something you want to see, it won't mess with the schedule. I'll just simply add it on to guard breaking, so it will be an extra long video. Uh, go and vote in the straw poll in the Discord. And as usual, if you made it this far, please don't forget to drop a like. It does genuinely help this series much. Leave a comment to appease the YouTube algorithm gods. And a special thank Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate your support so, so much. It's because of you guys I get to keep doing this. So I'll see you in the next video when we cover guard breaking and potentially uh, the revamped blocking system.